question that is bugging many young people of late is, should I go to university or learn a trade? The short answer, it depends. I'll tell you my personal situation. I studied at university and got a degree in physics, but I couldn't find a job. All physics jobs basically required people to have research experience, that is, a master's or PhD. I didn't want to study anymore at that time, so I just applied for lots of jobs. I ended up getting a job in Japan teaching English back in 2001. The Japanese government require all English teachers to have a degree. Any degree. So I got the job. Even though I never ever used any of my physics knowledge whatsoever while in Japan. I did that for a few years, teaching English in Japan and China, and ended up going back to uni in Australia and studying a master's in computing. Yes, that got me a job as a programmer, working for an insurance company. But it was extremely boring. One thing I can tell you, however, is that everything I learnt at university, I could have learnt by myself. This isn't necessarily true for all degrees, for example medicine, but mostly you can teach yourself lots of stuff nowadays just by using the internet. Coding is something you could teach yourself today, and you could start making your own software, apps or website without any university experience. It's just something that takes motivation. Lots of big names in the tech sector are famously underqualified. Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, just to name a few. That said, I know that many employers require that piece of paper, that degree or trade certificate. You can't get a job as a journalist at a big media company without a journalism degree, unless you're really lucky. But you could do your own form of journalism on YouTube for free. You could make your own channel that gives opinions on all the latest news and interview whoever you damn well want to. You wouldn't be restricted by a team of managers or editors. You never know, you might become popular and start making a living from it. Yes, there are lots of people on YouTube who make big bucks. So what about learning a trade? Personally, I think it's a great idea. In Australia, many tradies are making more money than many university graduates. Some trades are always useful. For example, electrician. I'd love to know how to install a solar panel or wind turbine, because if the world ever went to hell in a handbasket, at least I'd be able to set up my own electricity supply. It should be noted that tradesmen's salaries were probably heavily influenced by the mining and property booms. Now that both of these sectors are struggling in Australia, it might be wise not to count on having a good salary forever into the future. However, tradesmen are less likely to be automated anytime soon. Although we're living in the age of self-driving cars, to create a robot that can do the role of a plumber would be extremely difficult. I would suggest that it would be at least a couple of decades away. Figuring out whether the washers need changing, or if there's a blockage in this pipe or that pipe, or if the cistern has an issue. No, I don't see robot plumbers rocking up to my front door anytime soon. Tradesmen also get paid while they're training, admittedly not very much, but they come out with a qualification debt-free. University graduates, on the other hand, start their careers with tens of thousands of dollars of debt, depending on the course they studied. I ended up being about $41,000 in debt all told. It's not a very nice start to your working life. It's amazing that as a society, we've allowed our younger folk to get into so much debt at such a young age. It's a bit disgraceful, really. We need those people to look after us in our old age. They're the future doctors, the future dentists, the future engineers who will be looking after society when we are old. Why would we want to hurt them so much financially before they even begin? Anyway, as I said, I can't give a direct answer whether you should study at university or learn a trade, but certainly you're living in a time where you have the most opportunity to succeed without going to university. So many people I know don't have a university education, but are doing just fine. It's just a matter of diligence, patience and finding your passion. Ultimately, do something that you're interested in that can help people or help the world, and the money will surely come.